Technically, the legality of what we're about to do is pretty fringe. I'm flabbergasted by the number of people who navigate through life with brain fog and with digestive issues, with poor sleep, and they're simply not operating at the full capacity of what a human being should be able to operate at. Oh! The FDA is not a huge fan of stem cell injection, stem cell harvesting, stem cell storage. It's kind of iffy in terms of legality. They're going to see you inject yourself with stem cells and they're going to be like, this guy is you know, fucking crazy. What would you say to those people? <laughs> Besides, don't do this at home. So I just turn the force plate on, and then I'll pair my phone to it. Once that beep goes, my I've got one minute of all-out intensity. Make sure this is working. One set, I mean, it freaking it hurts like hell. Come on, come on! Ah. When I was a kid, I was a, a consummate nerd. I loved to study, I love to read, I love to learn. Uh, come on! I always had a book uh, held up to my nose to the extent to where my parents had to literally force me out of my bedroom to put down my book when we would have guests over to make me talk to people. Generating over 3,000 pounds of pressure on this bar. I've been experimenting for a long time. The first time that I did an Ironman and I finished in under 10 hours, I realized that a lot of what I was doing was actually working. If you want a real pick-me-up, this is called Nose Torque. You get this on Amazon too. These are smelling salts. And that's when I kind of got sucked into this Ugh. deep, dark, biohacking hole. He's one of those people who is like all in or nothing, you know what I mean? So if he says he's gonna do something, he will do that thing. This was a while ago. Yeah, this was back when I was about 40 pounds heavier and did a lot more, a lot more lifting, a lot more bodybuilding. You're like this giant slab of sexy muscle who could grace the pages of a magazine cover, but who literally, when you're not in the gym, lays around on the couch, unable to get a boner, unable to have sex, completely hormone depleted, and feeling like crap, and shitting out a straw. Everybody's like, I want to be a bodybuilder. I'm like, no you don't. <laughs> Not really. Careful what you wish for. I've traveled down to Florida, and I've had all of my own stem cells extracted from the fat in my back and then grown for six months. And I'm gonna be mainlining those into my bloodstream. Refrigerate upon arrival. No, I'm just gonna put them straight into my blood. Stem cells are kind of the, the crazy new fountain of youth, where the stem cells can go anywhere that my body actually needs them for anti-aging, for tissue repair, for neuronal growth, for anything. I haven't actually used one of these before. Does this come with instructions? Kind of. <laughs> There's a, a gal who's one of the top stem cell researchers uh, who runs the U.S. Stem Cell Clinic. And I'm going to see, in terms of dilution, um, if I need to dilute this with, uh, with a saline solution. Your call has been put into an 
I've never taken $8,000 worth of stem cells and uh, made this attempt. So it could be a very expensive mistake if I, <laughs> if I wind up making an error here. I can inject the 34 year old me into my body Go with the uh, blood flow restriction band, which is great for body weight training, but also in a pinch could be used as a tourniquet. Want to make sure we get the air out of the tube so we're not injecting any air here. What happens if you inject air? I don't know, but I heard it was bad. When I'm 40, when I'm 50, when I'm 60, when I'm 70, I can just keep mainlining the young me into the old me. Boom. That kind of stuff is not a huge shocker to me. You start testing out things with baby steps and then things get bigger and bigger and then finally you get to this really big culminating kind of um, self-experiment. I know a lot of what I do may seem like it's taking things to extremes. I'm kind of a pioneer. I do this every day. Every morning, a little heat, a little cold, I feel like a million bucks. We live off grid, we grow all our own food, I hunt most of our food. This is how I meditate. To me, when I see what Ben does, it looks exhausting. Like, there's so many things. I was like, to check off and do this and do that. I'm doing the illustrations for a book that I wrote. I just finished my first work of fiction. It's called The Forest. An electrode here. Like I literally cannot sit for two hours and watch a movie. And an electrode here. It drives me nuts because I feel like I'm wasting those two hours of my life. I would actually not be wearing my pants. Essential amino acids. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide called lignite. It actually, uh, it protects the body from glyphosate. I eat all organic foods, but like glyphosate's freaking everywhere right now. This is nasal oxytocin. I don't take supplements. I don't blend all my food. This will bathe my balls in red light. The cool thing about rosemary is it's also very, very good for cognition. So I'm getting a lot, like a big cognition boost as well. To me, health should be simple. It should be just a whole food kind of approach. So I look like a complete idiot right now, but I'm basically just using better living through science to feel amazing and really you should be able to function and live life well by doing that. What do you guys want to do? Which ones? The rooster fight was fun. The rooster fight? Left, left hand, right hand. Let's start with the back-to-back -back push. That's a pretty good one. Grasp your other hands so that your hands are grasped together. Can you grasp them? Can you grasp them? Grasp your hands together. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No. River, grasp your hand to your other hand. Okay. Yes. Taryn, grasp your hand to your other hand. Now you're locked, right? Got it? Here before. Gonna look you in the eye. You actually can feel amazing almost all of the time. You can perform at the capacity that you actually want to perform at without living your whole life in a gym. Oh, like a feather. I wish I was special. You can actually leap out of bed ready to take on a workout or ready to take on the day. I'm a Great one to open up the chest. I'm a Am I saying that everybody needs to hunch over their kitchen table and inject stem cells into their bloodstream? No. But what I am saying is if you want to know how to do it and what happens afterwards. I'm your man. I don't care if it hurts. Ah! I want to have control. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul.